Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be multiplying numbers by 10. Okay, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's have a little look at our examples then. Now, you'll notice that I've already written out some place value grids and this is quite important when you're multiplying or dividing numbers by 10, 100 or 1000 that you write these out because it makes it so much easier to work around a decimal place because it acts like a little bit of an anchor point so that you can move everything around it. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. So 9 multiplied by 10, so we'll put in our 9 in the 1's column and then our decimal place. Now 9 is the same as nine whole ones and no tenths, because I've just got nine. Now then, we know that using our multiplication tables, using the facts that we know, that nine times 10 is 90. So what's actually happened when we make nine 10 times bigger? Well, our nine has moved one place over to the left, and our zero from tenths has followed it one place over to the left as well. So let's have a look at 9.6. So we'll write that number in. Now making that 10 times larger, so I'll put my decimal place in and we can do the exact same thing again to make it 10 times greater. So my nine jumps over to make it 90 and my 0.6 jumps over one to make it six. So I've got 96 or 96 and no tenths, 96.0. So let's have a look at number three. So I've got 14 point Four, and we're multiplying this one by 10. So I'll put my decimal place in there as well. Now, once again, multiplying by 10, everything moves one place over to the left, getting 10 times greater. And let's have a little go. So we've got our 10 that becomes 100. Our four ones becomes four tens, so 40. And our 0 0.4, 10 times greater, becomes four. So we have 144.0, or just 144. So 1.68 is our next example. Now we've got some hundredths as well. And just because you've got more decimal places doesn't mean that you do anything different when you're times in by 10. So let's have a look. So we've got our one, which gets 10 times greater and becomes 10. Our six tenths, 10 times greater, becomes six whole ones. And then our eight hundredths, 10 times greater becomes 8 tenths for 16.8. So let's write in our fifth example. So we've got 15.06. There we are. Now I'm going to put my decimal place in line, very important, underneath. 10 times greater. So let's start again then. So we're times in by 10 and we need to move everything over. So 10 becomes 100. We've got five ones, which becomes five tenths, so 50. I've got no tenths, but actually we still move that over into the ones column because all the digits that you've got do move one place over to the left. And then we've got six hundredths, 10 times larger becomes six tenths. So 15.06 multiplied by 10 is 150.6. And one final one, so like I said, doesn't matter how many decimal places that you actually have. When you're multiplying by 10, you just do the same thing for each time. So my 10 becomes 100. There we are. So put the little place value heading in there. And I've got my no ones. And again, we move that zero over still. Becomes no tens. And eight tenths becomes eight whole ones. So I've got 108 so far. Five hundredths becomes five tenths, and nine thousandths becomes nine hundredths. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos, maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future, and also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time, guys, goodbye.